The rain lashed against the windows of the dimly lit precinct, a relentless staccato that mirrored the pounding of Samantha Ray's heart. She stared at the crime scene photos spread across her desk, each one more gruesome than the last. The yellow ribbon killer, the press had dubbed him. A monster who left his victims bound and brutalized, a single yellow ribbon tied around their throats like a macabre calling card. Samantha's fingers trembled slightly as she lifted the most recent photo, taken mere hours ago. The woman's glassy eyes stared back at her, forever frozen in a final moment of terror. Samantha recognized that look. She saw it every time she closed her eyes, the ghost of her own dark past rising up to haunt her. A past she'd run from for so long, burying herself in her work, in the hunt for justice. But now, as she stared at the face of the Yellow Ribbon Killer's latest victim, she knew she could run no longer. Because the face staring back at her, slack in death yet so achingly familiar, was her mother's. Samantha's breath left her in a ragged gasp, the photo fluttering from her fingertips. It couldn't be. Her mother had died years ago, wasting away from cancer, not... not this. And yet, there was no mistaking the delicate arch of her brow, the gentle curve of her jaw. The yellow ribbon knotted around her throat, stained the same crimson as the rose tattoo on her wrist, the tattoo she'd gotten on her 18th birthday, a matching symbol of freedom with Samantha dot dot. His voice, low and gravelly, sliced through the white noise in her head. Samantha looked up, already knowing who she would see. Detective Aiden Wolf stood in the doorway, his tall frame seeming to fill the room. Raven hair, cut with military precision, glinted under the fluorescent lights. His eyes, a piercing blue that always seemed to see straight through her, held hers with an intensity that made her pulse skip. Stepbrother, some distant part of her brain whispered. The word felt wrong, tasted like ash on her tongue. Because no matter what the law said, what their parents' marriage certificate claimed, Aiden had never been a brother to her. He'd been something infinitely more dangerous. The only person who truly understood the darkness that lurked within her, the scars she tried so hard to hide. The man who set her blood on fire with a single glance, a brush of skin on skin. The man she could never, ever have. Aiden. Her voice sounded strangled to her own ears. What are you doing here? I'm led on the yellow ribbon case. He moved into the room, all lethal grace and coiled power. His gaze flicked to the scattered photos, then back to her face. I could ask you the same question. Samantha swallowed hard. It's, it's my mother. Something flashed in Aiden's eyes, gone too quickly to decipher. He picked up the photo she dropped, studying it with an unreadable expression. I thought your mother was dead. So did I. Samantha dragged a hand through her hair, copper strands catching on her trembling fingers. I identified her body myself, watched them lower the casket into the ground. This, this isn't possible. Aiden's jaw clenched, a muscle ticking beneath the shadowed scruff. Looks like dear old dad has some explaining to do. Samantha's heart seized. What? He tossed the photo back onto the desk, mouth twisting into a grim line. Dear old dad, otherwise known as Jackson Ray. Otherwise known as our prime suspect. The world tilted, nightmare blurring with reality. Her father, the monster who had made her childhood a living hell, who had shattered their family beyond repair. The same man who now wore a yellow ribbon tied around his wrist, taunting them from the security camera footage of their latest crime scene. Samantha shot to her feet, black spots dancing across her vision. No. It can't be him. He's... He's been dead for years, he has to be. But even as the words left her lips, she knew it was a lie. Because Jackson Ray had never let a little thing like death stop him before. He'd faked his own demise once, disappearing into the night with a dollar and a dream, leaving his wife and daughter to pick up the shattered pieces, leaving Samantha to watch her mother fade away day by day, consumed by a grief too heavy to bear. Aiden rounded the desk. Strong hands gripping her shoulders, grounding her. Breathe, Sammy. Just breathe. The childhood nickname, unspoken for so long, broke something deep inside her. 
Samantha crumpled against his broad chest, tears burning her eyes. Aiden's arms came around her, solid and strong, the only thing holding her together as the world cracked apart at the seams. We'll find him, he murmured into her hair, breath warm against her skin. We'll make him pay for everything he's done. I swear it. Samantha clung to him, to the only anchor in the storm that raged inside her. She'd spent so long running from her past, from the darkness that lurked in her blood. But now, in Aiden's arms, she finally understood. The only way to conquer the darkness was to face it head-on. To stare into the abyss and refuse to blink. Even if it meant staring into the eyes of her own father, and seeing the face of a monster staring back. The hunt for Jackson Ray consumed every waking moment. Samantha pored over case files until her eyes blurred, chasing down every lead, every whisper of a sighting. Aiden was a constant presence at her side, his strength and determination the only thing keeping her sane. But with each passing day, each dead end, the weight on her shoulders grew heavier. The knowledge that her own father was out there, stalking the streets, leaving a trail of broken bodies in his wake, it was a burden too terrible to bear. Late one night, hunched over yet another useless report, Samantha felt something inside her break. A sob tore from her throat, raw and ragged, the dam finally crumbling under the pressure. Strong arms enveloped her from behind, Aiden's solid warmth pressing against her back. Let it out, he murmured, his voice a deep rumble she felt in her bones. I've got you. Samantha turned in his embrace, burying her face in the crook of his neck. She breathed him in, sandalwood and smoke, the scent that meant safety, home. What if we can't find him? She whispered, voicing the fear that haunted her every moment. What if he wins? Aiden's hand cupped her cheek, tilting her face up to his. In the low light of the precinct, his blue eyes burned with a fierce intensity. He won't win. We won't let him. You and me, Sammy. We're in this together. Until the end. And then his lips were on hers, hard and desperate, a searing brand that set her soul on fire. Samantha surrendered to the kiss, to the feeling of coming home after a lifetime lost at sea. This was what she'd been running from, all these years. This bone-deep connection, this fated collision of two damaged hearts. Aiden was her salvation and her damnation, the only one who could put her back together and shatter her beyond repair. As they lost themselves in each other, a forbidden union forged in the crucible of shared trauma, neither noticed the figure watching from the shadows. Jackson Ray smiled, cold and cruel, as he raised the camera to his eye. The shutter clicked once, twice, capturing the intimate moment like a butterfly pinned to a board. They thought they could stop him, thought their love could conquer all. But he would show them the folly of their arrogance. He would rip their newfound happiness to shreds, just like he'd done to every light in Samantha's life, starting with the man she loved more than her own battered soul. The next day, an unmarked envelope landed on Samantha's desk. Inside, a single photograph, a moment frozen in time. Her and Aiden, lost in a passionate embrace, oblivious to the watchful eyes in the dark. On the back, scrawled in her father's unmistakable hand, I see you, daughter mine. I'm coming for you. Ice flooded Samantha's veins. He knew. He'd seen them, violated the one pure thing she had left. Rage and terror warred within her, a churning tempest that threatened to pull her under. Aiden found her like that, staring at the photo with eyes gone dead and hollow. He took one look and understood, his face hardening into a mask of lethal determination. He wants to play games? Aiden growled, crushing the photo in his fist. Then let's play. But this time, we make the rules. Samantha met his gaze, iron resolve settling over her like armor. Jackson Ray had taken everything from her. Her childhood, her mother, her chance at a normal life. She wouldn't let him take Aiden, too. Even if it meant walking into the lion's den and facing the monster head on even if it meant sacrificing her own soul to save the man she loved. They set the trap that very night, 
an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of town. Samantha went in alone, a lamb to the slaughter, heart pounding a war drum in her chest. She didn't have to wait long. Jackson Ray materialized from the shadows, yellow ribbon fluttering at his wrist, a mocking smile on his lips. Hello, daughter mine, he purred, circling her like a shark scenting blood in the water. It's been far too long. Samantha stood her ground, chin high, even as every instinct screamed at her to run. Not long enough, she bit out through clenched teeth. Why are you doing this? Why now? Jackson's smile widened, a slash of white in the darkness. Why not now? I've waited years for my revenge, biding my time watching you scurry about your little life like a rat in a maze. He stepped closer, his breath fetid against her cheek. You thought you could escape me. Thought you could build a new life on the ashes of the old. But you forget, Samantha. I made you. I own you. And now, I'm going to destroy you, piece by piece. Starting with that half-breed bastard you spread your legs for. Red tinged Samantha's vision, fury boiling up inside her like magma. You don't own me, she snarled, hands curling into fists. You never did. And Aiden? He's twice the man you'll ever be. Jackson's eyes flashed, quicksilver in the moonlight filtering through the high windows. Bold words for a girl with no one left to protect her. What do you think Loverboy will do when he finds your broken body? When he realizes he failed you just like he failed his own whore mother. Samantha's heart stuttered, a fresh wave of dread crashing over her. Aiden's mother, dead in a ditch when he was just a boy a single yellow ribbon tied in her dark hair. You, she whispered, icy realization crystallizing in her veins. You killed her. All those years ago, you... I put down a mongrel bitch who didn't know her place, Jackson spat, all pretense of civility stripped away. Just like I'm going to put you down, daughter mine. Then I'll string up your precious detective, leave him choking on his own failure. A matched set of yellow ribbons. How poetic. Samantha saw it then. Saw the yawning emptiness behind her father's eyes, the soulless void that hungered for innocent blood. He was a rabid beast, and rabid beasts needed to be put down. Her hand closed around the gun at the small of her back, the cold metal a shock against her clammy skin. It was now or never. Kill or be killed, just like he'd taught her all those years ago. She drew the weapon in one swift motion, leveling it at her father's face with hands that no longer shook. It's over, you son of a bitch. You've lost. Jackson threw his head back and laughed, the sound scraping over her raw nerves like broken glass. You don't have the guts. You're weak, just like your mother. Just like, why? The shot rang out like cannon fire, echoing through the cavernous space. Jackson staggered back eyes wide with shock, a neat hole blooming crimson in the center of his forehead. Never underestimate the strength of a woman with nothing left to lose, Aiden said coldly, emerging from the shadows with his own smoking gun. Samantha stared at her father's crumpled form, watching the light fade from his eyes, the yellow ribbon at his wrist slowly staining red. It was over. The monster was gone, vanquished by the two battered souls he'd broken so long ago. Aiden's arms came around her, holding her steady as her knees buckled. She turned into his embrace, letting his strength flow into her, filling the cracks in her heart. We did it, she whispered against his chest, tears slipping down her cheeks. We won. Aiden pressed a kiss to her hair, his own eyes suspiciously bright. We survived, he corrected softly. We survived, and we found each other. That's the real victory. In the distance, sirens wailed, a herald of the chaos to come. Questions and investigations, the messy aftermath of justice, served. But in that moment in the circle of Aiden's arms, Samantha felt something she hadn't felt in a very long time. Hope? For a future unburdened by the shadows of the past. For a love that could weather any storm. Phoenix rising from the ashes, they clung to each other, ready to face a new day. Together. Always together, come what may. The days following Jackson Ray's death passed in a blur of flashing lights and endless questions. 
Samantha and Aiden told their story again and again to detectives, to reporters, to the vultures who circled in the wake of such sensational violence. Through it all, they clung to each other, an island of calm amidst the churning sea of chaos. Aiden's steady presence was the only thing keeping Samantha anchored, the warmth of his hand in hers a lifeline she grasped with desperate strength. But even as the furor died down, as life slowly returned to some semblance of normalcy, Samantha couldn't shake the feeling that it wasn't over. That some final reckoning still awaited her, lurking just beyond the horizon. It came on a day just like any other. A plain manila envelope with no return address. Inside, a single sheet of paper, covered in her father's spidery scrawl. You think it ends with my death? The letter read, each word dripping with malice. You're just like your mother, so naive. My legacy lives on, daughter mine. In you. It you can't escape it any more than you can escape your own tainted blood. Tick-tock. Time's running out. See you on the other side. Samantha's hands shook as she read and reread the poisonous words, bile rising in her throat. Even from beyond the grave, her father sought to control her, to twist the knife he'd buried in her soul so long ago. Aiden found her like that, hunched over the kitchen table, silent tears tracking down her ashen face. He read the letter over her shoulder, his body going rigid with barely contained fury. He's lying, Aiden growled, snatching the paper and crumpling it in his fist. He's just trying to get inside your head one last time. Don't let him win, Sammy. Don't give him that power. Samantha looked up at him, green eyes haunted and raw. But what if he's right? She whispered, voicing the fear that had plagued her all her life. What if I'm just like him? What if his darkness is inside me, and no matter how far I run, I can never escape it? Aiden cupped her face in his hands, his touch infinitely gentle. You are nothing like him, he said fiercely, blue eyes blazing with conviction. You are light and strength and everything good in this world. Yes, you have darkness in you. We all do. But you choose every day to rise above it. To fight for what's right. That's what makes you who you are. Not him. Never him. He drew her into his arms, holding her like he could shield her from the demons that clawed at her mind. Samantha clung to him, breathing in his scent, his solidness, trying to absorb his certainty through sheer force of will. But even in the safety of Aiden's embrace, Jackson Ray's final taunt echoed in her head, an insidious whisper she couldn't silence. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Time was running out. The meaning of her father's warning became clear all too soon. A series of gruesome murders, each victim bound and mutilated, a yellow ribbon tied around their throat. The same signature, the same cruel artistry. But Jackson Ray was dead. Samantha had watched the life drain from his eyes, his blood pooling on the cold concrete. Which could only mean one thing. He had an accomplice, a protege, carrying on his twisted legacy. And now, they were coming for her. Samantha threw herself into the investigation with single-minded focus, determined to unravel this final mystery. Aiden was right beside her every step of the way, his drive to protect her a palpable force. Late nights, poring over case files, chasing down every breadcrumb that I. Each new body, a fresh slash across Samantha's battered psyche. The weight of her father's sins pressing down on her, threatening to crush her beneath their burden. Until, at last, a break. A pattern, hidden in the chaos. The victims weren't random. They were all connected to Samantha's past. Her childhood best friend. Her first love. The social worker who'd tried to help her after her mother's death. A macabre scavenger hunt, leading her deeper into the labyrinth of her own trauma. Leading her to the one place she'd sworn never to return. The family estate loomed before her, a crumbling monument to gothic despair. The sight of her worst memories, the cradle of her darkest fears. This was where it had all begun. 
Where Jackson Ray had first sunk his claws into her mother's fragile mind, molding her into his perfect, broken doll. Where he'd tried to do the same to Samantha before she'd found the strength to run. She hadn't set foot on this overgrown gravel drive in over a decade. Yet as she stood at the rusted gates, aiding a steadfast presence at her back, it felt like no time had passed at all. As if the frightened little girl she'd once been still huddled within these crumbling walls, waiting for a savior who would never come. You don't have to do this, Aiden murmured, his hand finding hers, fingers twining together. We can find another way. Samantha shook her head, jaw clenched with grim determination. No, this ends where it began. I'm not letting him haunt me anymore. I'm not letting him win. Hand in hand, hearts beating as one, they stepped across the threshold into the waiting maw of memory. The house was a tomb, shrouded in dust and echoing with phantom screams. Each rune held a fresh horror, a new scar, torn open anew. Here, the closet where Jackson had locked her for days when she dared to defy him. There, the bedroom where he'd pressed a knife to her mother's throat, forcing Samantha to watch as he exacted his twisted idea of love. And everywhere, the cloying scent of his signature cologne, as if his very essence had seeped into the weathered wood and faded wallpaper. Samantha moved through it all as if in a dream, Aiden's solid warmth the only tether keeping her grounded in reality. She half expected her father to come gliding around every corner, his mocking smile sharp as a razor. But it wasn't Jackson Ray waiting for her in the cavernous great room, standing beneath the cobwebbed chandelier. It was her mother. Esmeralda Ray stood like a waxwork, perfectly preserved, not a day older than the last time Samantha had seen her. Her dark hair was pulled back in a severe bun, emerald eyes flat and lifeless. A yellow ribbon circled her pale throat like a brand. Hello, darling, she said, her voice as hollow as a grave. Daddy said you'd come. Samantha stared, horror and disbelief warring within her. And mom? How? I'm sure you. I don't understand. Don't you? Esmeralda tilted her head, a grotesque parody of maternal concern. Oh, my sweet girl. So blind. So naive. Just like I used to be. She stepped forward, her movements jerky, like a marionette on tangled strings. Your father was right about you. About us. We're the same, you and I, born to serve his grand design. No. Samantha shook her head wildly, backing away until she collided with Aiden's solid chest. No, you're dead. I saw you die. I mourned you. Death is just another chain your father broke. Esmeralda smiled, cold and brittle. He remade me. Perfected me. And now, it's your turn. She raised her hand, and Samantha saw the glint of a hypodermic needle, filled with sickly yellow liquid. This is his greatest gift. His legacy, distilled. One injection, and you'll be free. Free of doubt of fear. Of the weakness that's always held you back. Samantha's heart pounded, her mind reeling. This couldn't be happening. It had to be another of her father's tricks, a final mind game from beyond the veil. But the needle in her mother's hand was real. The madness in her eyes, so much like Jackson's in those final moments, was real and Samantha knew with a clarity that rang through her like a bell what she had to do. She lunged forward, grabbing for the syringe. Esmeralda shrieked, her free hand clawing at Samantha's face. They grappled, a grotesque dance of flailing limbs and feral snarls. In the chaos, Samantha felt the needle pierce her skin, cold fire racing through her veins. Her vision blurred, her mother's face fracturing into a kaleidoscope of fury. And then, a gunshot, like thunder in the enclosed space. Esmeralda crumpled, a dark bloom spreading across her chest. Samantha stared down at her, the world tilting on its axis. Aiden appeared at her side, his gun still smoking. Sammy? Sammy, stay with me. His voice sounded tinny and distant, as if filtered through deep water. 
The edges of her vision darkened, Jackson Ray's mocking laughter echoing in her ears. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. The darkness claimed her, and she knew no more. When Samantha woke, she was in a hospital bed, crisp sheets tangled around her legs. Aiden dozed in the chair beside her, his hand clasped around hers even in sleep. The doctors told her she'd been unconscious for days, her system ravaged by whatever poison had been in that needle. That she was lucky to be alive. Alive and free. Because whatever her father had planned with that final inoculation, it hadn't worked. Samantha was still herself, battered and bruised, but unbroken. The legacy of Jackson Ray ended with her. She would build something new from its ashes, something born of light and hope. In the days and weeks that followed, as her body healed and her mind slowly stitched itself back together, Samantha clung to that truth. She clung to Aiden, her rock, her shelter in the storm. Together they laid Esmeralda to rest, this time for good. They tore down the rotting manor house brick by brick, salting the earth on which it stood. They built a life, a partnership, on a foundation of hard-earned trust and bone-deep love. And when the nightmares came, as they still sometimes did, Aiden was there to hold her through the dark hours. To remind her of who she was, who she'd always been. Not Jackson Ray's daughter, his pawn in a twisted game. Not Esmeralda's shadow, doomed to inherit her brokenness. But Samantha Ray, survivor, fighter, fight. A woman who had stared into the abyss and clawed her way back to the light.